Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to simplify circuit layout for ease of analysis of circuit. The basic concepts and rules of current FCC are not difficult to remember. They are basically your Ohm's law and addition of resistance in series and parallel. Students can usually apply this concept to simple circuit layout that consists of one to three resistors or pure series and pure parallel. However, they have difficulty applying to more complicated circuits or circuit layout that they might ne never seen before. So this lesson is to provide some general guidelines to help students simplify the circuit layout so that they can apply the basic electrical concepts with ease. So let's look at this circuit that seems simple. For this particular circuit layout, some students may think that Resistor A and resistor B are in series, since they are arranged in this manner. Or, resistor C and resistor D are in parallel, Okay, since they are arranged in this manner. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. To see how the resistors are connected, we have to redraw the circuit. So we use the following guidelines of steps. Okay, first is to label the different components of the circuit. Trace and color the paths which the current takes starting from the positive to the negative terminal in the original circuit. Use the same color if there's just only one single path. Use a different color for each path whenever the path splits up. Use a different color when the paths split up merges together. Then redraw the circuit by drawing the power source on or the battery on the left hand side of the circuit. Draw the top of the circuit using a single connecting wire starting from the positive terminal. Then whatever that you have drawn over here, this part map the different color path on the new circuit diagram. And then draw the bottom of the circuit using a single connecting wire back to the negative terminal. Okay, of course, this is a mouthful to remember. Okay, I uh, will use the previous example to help you to see how it's done. Label, okay, so we have labeled this A, B, C, D. Okay, uh, so starting from a positive terminal, we map, and since it's a single path, okay, we map with a green color. Okay, and then we reach a junction over here, which the path splits up, the current goes here and here. So you have different colors for C, which is blue, and B and D. Okay, take note for this red path is because there's just only a single path traveling from B to D and then back to over here, this junction. So this is a single path, so that's why it's a single color. And then draw back a new color that maps it back to the negative terminal of the battery. So they are green, red, blue, and purple. So how does it map to the new circuit? Okay, so on the left hand side, just draw the battery purely. Okay, nothing else. And just draw a single wire. Okay, we start with the green color wire. Okay, top, there's nothing. And we go through this. Okay, so we map A. After A, it splits on the two paths. So there's one path that goes to C, another path that goes to B. Okay, so you can see the the similarity, and then and after B it goes through D, so this D, and after D they all merges back into this path, and it's illustrated over here, and you draw the purple path back to the negative terminal. So can you see that this left hand diagram is equivalent to this redrawn circuit? And you find that by looking at this, it's actually easier to see how the circuit are connected. First thing, B and D are in series. And B and D is parallel to C. And this entire thing is then of course in series with a. So your effective resistance is simply A 
add up this entire big piece, which is comprises of C parallel with B and D. So that's how you can redraw the circuit so that you can do uh, analysis of the circuit much easier than you rely on the original form. Let's look at another example. This circuit diagram looks daunting, okay, with five resistors and then they are all connected diagonally. But the key thing is actually the position it doesn't matter, it's more of the connection. So same thing, start from a positive and then you draw the sing single path, in this case A. And then this time round you notice that actually it splits into three paths. One, two, and three. And then you give them different colors, so blue, yellow, and red. Okay, and then you find that this red and yellow merges over this point, and there's this purple path that goes over here. And purple path will merge with the blue path and goes back to give you the dark green path. So that's the main gist of it. So by applying the same principle, the first one is A, the green path. It splits into three paths, blue, yellow, and red. And then, you, of course, this time we mentioned the red and yellow merges together and goes into the purple path. And the purple and the blue path merges together again and goes back into the dark green path. So that's how you can simplify it. So of course this one is C, this one is D, this one is B, and this one is E. Okay. For some of you, you may not still be not able to see how this uh, connection is. What we can do is that we just move this C slightly further down over here. And then it's a bit more clearer to see that actually B and D are actually in parallel. This whole parallel is in series with E. So B and D is parallel. It's in series with E. And this whole branch, then of course, is actually parallel with C. And this entire big lump over here will be in series with A. So that's how you can, uh, through redrawing the circuit diagram, make it much easier for you to see how the uh, components are connected. These are the guidelines again. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.